Yo! I'm Kayo, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to do the windmill to R flare. First of all, you need to master the windmill and the R flare. If you can't do many rounds of R flare, it doesn't matter. The movement is the same as the windmill to swipe. So, if you didn't see the windmill to swipe tutorial we made, check it out! In this place, I don't have enough space to do the windmill to R flare really really good. So, I will show you this combo in another place. First of all, before practicing, you need to warm up and stretch. We already showed many exercises in our previous tutorials, you can check them out, click on this link, it's the playlist, do some warm up and stretching and even some workout if you want. Yo, let's start with that work! First step is the same as the windmill to swipe. When you are on your back from the windmill, keep your right hand, if you spin clockwise, straight and lean it really close to your left shoulder, like this. When you are in this position, you have to lift yourself up a little bit and then lean your left hand and push it. You can do this combo by using your head or without using it. It's up to you how you feel more comfortable. I feel more comfortable if I use my head. When I am in this position, my head is already on the ground and I do the same movement, like this. Without head is the same. So, it doesn't really matter. So, from the windmill, try to lift yourself up in this position. When you are able to do it, just push yourself higher. Well, if you want, you can also be really low and do a really low R flare from the windmill. I really like this move. <laughs> To do a really low R flare from the windmill, you don't need to push yourself so high, you just need the speed of your legs and when you go up a little bit, just kick, ready for the R flare. If you want to do a normal R flare from the windmill, you have to push yourself up and kick higher with your legs. It's like a mix between the windmill to swipe and the windmill to 90. If you can do already the windmill to 90, it will be really really easy for you. If you cannot do it, learn the windmill to swipe first. Also the windmill to flare could help you a little bit because if you train the windmill to R flare and you cannot do the windmill to swipe and the windmill to flare without using the freeze like this, I think it will be pretty hard and heavy and maybe you will be not able to push yourself up. If you can do one round or some rounds of elbow track, I also recommend you to learn the windmill to elbow track first because the movement is really really similar. The windmill to elbow track is the same concept, just on your elbow instead than your hand. The first times you can start in this position. You remember the windmill to head spin tutorial? It's the same. Start in this position, kick your left leg and then push up. You can even bend your legs if you want, like this. Or you can keep them straight, like this, how you prefer. Maybe if you bend your legs, it's uh, a little bit easier. Okay, so from this position, kick, bend your legs if you want, or keep them straight and push them up. Maybe at the first attempt it will look like that. But don't worry, just practice and you will get better and better. When you go up from the windmill, be ready to kick for the R flare. Go up and kick. And be ready also with your left leg. 
in this position and push. Okay guys, that's everything. See you, share the video, follow me on Facebook, Claudio Caio Svaldini, on our Facebook page, Falcro Production, on Twitter, on Instagram. Peace.